G'day, welcome to Geoterex Outdoors Australia. I'm Ralph, and in today's episode, we're going to kick off a series called What's in a Name. Now, there's lots of different outdoors equipment, lots of different geological and geographical features, and some people may not quite be sure why they're called different things. And this series is going to shed some light on the various terms, what they mean, and how we use them. Today's episode is going to be about backpacks. Now, there's a few different names for backpacks. I've owned a few over the years. I've reviewed a few on this channel. And I generally call everything that I wear on my back with a couple of straps a backpack. I wanted to find some of the differences between the different terms, whether it's a backpack, whether it's a rucksack, a knapsack or a haversack. I thought I'd take some of the confusion out and do some research and see what is called what, why it's called that, and if there's actually a, a, a definition of the various different types of packs. I couldn't find a, a consistent definition. I went to Wikidiff, I went to the difference between, and a whole lot of manufacturers' sites to see what they called their various pieces of outdoor equipment, and found a whole lot of names. Not only backpack, rucksack, knapsack, haversack, but tote bags and, and you know, sling bags, messenger bags, duffel bags, and all sorts of stuff. And I thought, you know what, I'll stick to what I know. The four that I've got on this particular video, the backpack, rucksack, knapsack, and haversack. Okay, so backpack for me is a catch-all. I've always used the term backpack for anything I can carry on my back with two straps, whether it be a sternum strap, with a waist strap, multiple pockets, attachment points, or internal or external frame. It's all a backpack to me, and it's probably a backpack to most people. Far from being interchangeable, the, the, the four various terms have got some definitions that there's a little bit of consistency here, and I thought I'd share that with you and put together a list. So firstly, backpack, anything you can wear on your back, like I just said. A rucksack from the German word rücken, or the, the back, is a, a, a term that people in Germany use and German-speaking countries use for anything that they can put on their back. So it's basically just a translation of a, a backpack or backpack is a translation of a, of a rucksack. I think a rucksack is something you wear on your back with two straps. It has a frame, whether it's internal or external. It has a number of pockets. It can be opened from the, the front or opened from the top. It's around about 50 to 60 litres and above, and generally used for long day, multi day, or trekking, or you know, long term hiking, bushwalking, and camping. A knapsack, on the other hand, is a smaller bag. It's also from the German knapp, meaning small, or knappen, meaning a slang word for eating. So generally, it's a smaller pack. It's between 30 and 50 litres and it's something you use for a, for a day trip or when you're not carrying much gear, you can actually use a knapsack. It's got shoulder straps, doesn't have an internal frame. It can have a waist strap, it can have a sternum strap, it can have a couple of pockets, it can have attachment points, but it's a smaller version of a rucksack, or it's a smaller backpack. A haversack, on the other hand, is again from the German, which often means oats or rolled oats, and it comes about from a single strap over the shoulder. But some haversacks have two straps over the shoulder, but none of them have an internal frame and none of them have a, a sternum or a waist strap. So it's usually less than 30 litres. So there you have my list and I'll just summarise it here. Let's see if you agree. If you do, or if you don't, leave your comment down in the, in the comments below. I've got some of the links of some of the websites I went to to, uh, to do the research. And uh, I'd be very interested to hear your comments on what you call various bits and pieces and why you call them that. I'd also love you to subscribe, love you to give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.